we have a season of separation. As a matter of fact, I'll go ahead and get to the uh, message. We are in a season, we're in a season, we're in a season of separation. We're in a season of separation. And anytime there's a separation, that means that there's two things. When there's a separation, that means that two things separate. And oftentimes, the reason why they separate because they're not in agreement. Things separate because they are not in agreement. And so one of the things that you need to look for, you need to uh, look for is a great, even a greater falling away, a greater falling away and, and things are beginning to become cut out of your life. Expect things that you didn't expect to begin to become cut or removed out of your life, out of your life, out of your life. And see, see, and see what it is, is that I'm going to give you, I'm going to give you some scriptures. Go to um, um, Matthew, the 13th chapter. Matthew 13, chapter 24, verse. Go pray right quick. Father God, in the name of Jesus, give me the understanding. Open my eyes up to, 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 to see and open my ears up to hear. But also the hearer that I listened this morning, you said that he that has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit is saying to the church. And you're speaking. You're speaking, you're speaking, you're speaking. And as such that you're speaking, those uh, that are listening and those that are listening, God, I pray that their ears open up and that the sounds of these words, of this promised word, that it will go inside their ears and, and, and get inside their spirit man and inside their spirit man leak, leap, cause a quickening, cause a confirmation, cause an affirmation, cause a movement, cause a motion. Cause a, a awakening, cause a quickening. You said in the word the same spirit that raised up Jesus Christ from the dead, this same spirit will quicken our mortal body and God begin to quicken, begin to shake whatever is dead, whatever is attached, whatever is trying to hold on, God, shake it, shake it off, shake off, shake off hurt, shake off pride, shake off selfishness, shake off whatever it is that's trying to say, me, 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 and let it be God. Because you said in your word, God, seek you first, seek you first, and the in your kingdom. And you're righteous in all things be added. And so God, you're bringing order. You're bringing order. And one of the ways of bringing order is separation because you said you would come out of her, my people, that you not partake in her sins, nor her plagues. What plagues? What plagues? And, and, and the separation, the separation. And also, God, we thank you. We bless you. We thank you. We bless you, God, for being God of our life. We thank you for being our ruler. We thank you for being our compass, God, who have sinned. God, forgive us. We come before you now. God, forgive us, help us, keep us, open our hearts up to forgive and love, because it's love, your love, you so love the Lord that you gave your only begotten son, that whosoever believe on you should not perish, but have everlasting life, and, and we thank you for it now, God, and God, speak through me, God, speak through me, God, reveal your power, God, reveal your words, God, reveal, I seek him outside, reveal your anointing, God, God, you're moving in a new way, God, you're moving in a strategic way, God, you're moving God, in an anointing, in a, in, in a powerful way. God, we thank you, God. We ask, God, we ask that you release whatever it is that you need to release right now in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. God bless you. I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you one thing that I just heard. God is releasing miracles right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Whatever miracle, whatever you've been praying for, whatever you've been asking God for, He's going to release your miracle. He's going to release your miracle. And what God is saying, open up open up your mouth and lift up your hands and say, God, I receive. The Bible says, according to your faith, your faith, not your mama's faith, not your daddy's faith, not your kids' faith, but the Bible says, according to your faith. Now, pin that, your faith, your faith. Be on your faith, according to your faith. And faith is, now first, you must believe that God is. If you can believe that God is in a reward, he is going to give you your blessing Right now, in the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, I speak a blessing. I speak a blessing. God, I speak I speak that there's a reverse that's taking place. I speak there's a reverse. There's a, the curse is being reversed. The curse is being reversed. I got break the hand. Break, break the hand of the enemy. That curse is being broken. That curse is being broken. In the mighty name of Jesus. Also, also, I see, I see, I see a spirit of a spirit of bitterness. I see a spirit of bitterness. God is snatching that bitterness away. God is snatching. God is snatching that hurt away. God is snatching. God is snatching. God is snatching that despair away. And there's some of you, there's some of you that listen to me. You've been dealing with some issues as a child. 
certain things, and, and because of the issue that you have dealt with as a child, it has confused you. It has made you uncertain, made you uh, uh, um, um, not not sure. So so you're divided. You're divided. And so what it is is that you were raised in a divided atmosphere, and because you was raised in a divided atmosphere, your mindset, the way you think, uh, relationships, choices, decisions, you are you have been for a long time divided. And because of this uncertainty, this uncertainty has made you lose jobs. This uncertainty has made you, uh, has caused uh, you to lose relationship because of this uncertainty. But I come to tell you today uh, that God is healing and, and, and what God is doing, God is removing, God is removing the voices and God is removing the hurt. Here, what I'm saying, God is removing the hurt and God is bringing deliverance. God is bringing deliverance and, and God is, is killing the insecurities. God is killing the hurts. God is killing the things that you needed that you didn't get many, many years ago. See, but the thing that you need to understand that God is a, a God is, will supply all of your needs according to, uh, to the rich glory by according to your rich glory by Christ Jesus. So God is going to supply. You need to know. Some that listen to me, you're about to be. It feels like you're about to be homeless, and it feels like you feel like God is forsaken you. It feels like God has abandoned you. You feel like God ain't talking to you. You've been talking. You've been talking with God. They've been talking to you. You feel like God has forgotten you. But I come to tell you that God did not forget you. He remembered. He remembered and said, what he wants you to do, God wants you to be at ease. Because in you being at ease, he's going to show up. And so all God been waiting on you, all God been waiting on you to relax. And see, because uh, you listen to me, those that listen to me, panic attacks have got so bad in your life. There's something within your emotion. There's something within your spirit, man, or something in you is broken. And you're broken. You're so broken that you're so exhausted that you don't even have strength to even move. You do, but it takes so much energy. And even sometimes it's hard to even think. It takes so much energy. And it's real hard to pray at times because when you pray, you're so tired. When you pray, all kind of thoughts and stuff go to your mind. And, and see, you're in warfare. You're in warfare. You're in warfare. But I need to let you know that I need to let you know you're in a season of separation. You are in a season of separation and see what's happening. The thing that it seems like you've been wrestling with. It seems like the same, same thing that is in, uh, every day, every day. It seems like this thing has been in your face every day. This situation has been in your face every day. This predicament has been in your face every day. This demon, though, or whatever it is, it's been standing there, standing there talking to you, standing there, and it won't be getting you, it won't remove, won't move. And see, this is your test. This is your test. And, and see, what's happened is that what you see and what you've been dealing with and what you've been facing, the warfare, the trouble, the place, the place that you're in, hear what I'm saying? This place is the place of your new season, your season of separation, but also this is your place of your miracle. The thing, the thing that's giving you so much hell and so much despair and so much discouragement. And, and see, the thing about it, this is our investment. Your time and your suffering has become your investment. And see, because the Bible said after you suffer a while, then he's going to make you perfect. And see, it's been an investment. It's been an investment. The Bible said, the Bible said, uh, count it all joy when you go through divers temptations because it's, it, it, it is something of this world. It's not worthy to be compared to the glory. You need to realize that your suffering, you need to understand that your pain and the thing that it feels so unfair and you keep praying the same thing over and over and it feels like God has forget forsaken you and oftentimes you become aggressive. Oftentimes you become upset and you say some things that you shouldn't say. It's just because you're in a place of discouragement. You're in a place of, you're in a place of, what's that word? Hopelessness. You're in a place of hopelessness. You're in a place of where you feel sick. Your heart is sick. Feel like throwing up. You feel like regurgitating. Uh, because you've been waiting so long that that that, that, that the passion, it feels like there's a ball that, that's, that, that's turning in your, in your gut. A ball that's turning in your stomach. Man, it feels like there's a ball there. And that ball is frustration. And, and see, and, and see, you've been waiting so long and it, and it hurts. And it hurts. But let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Let me say something. I speak to that pain right now. I speak to that stomach condition in the mighty name of Jesus. I speak healing. I speak healing to that stomach condition. I speak healing to their mind. In the mighty name of Jesus, God bring healing. God bring a breakthrough. God bring, bring them out. Bring them out. Bring them out. Deliver. Deliver. Set free. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. And so this is your breakthrough hour. This is your day. This is your day of miracles. Hear what I'm saying? Expect the expected. Expect the expected. Expect, expect something new. Expect a phone call. Expect something that you want to know that God did it. 
See, God is going to manifest. See, to some of you today, God is going to manifest himself to you in a way, in a form of miracle. God is going to manifest himself to you in a way, in a form of a breakthrough. God is going to manifest himself to you in a way that you will know without a shadow of a doubt that he is God. Let me read some right quick. Matthew, the uh, 13th chapter, where I was going to get to, God kind of changed my message. And it's, it takes up. And a, a parable, another parable, another parable, uh, put he forth, uh, put he forth unto them, saying, The kingdom of heaven is likened unto a man which soweth a good seed in his field. And that is the 21st verse, 24th verse. But while men slept, his enemies came in and sowed tares among the wheat and went his way. But when the, the 26th verse, but when the blade was sprung up and brought forth fruit, then appeared tares also. So the servants of the household came, this is the 27th verse, and said unto him, Sir, did not thou sow good seeds in the field, in thy field, from whence hath it tares? He said unto them, An enemy has done this. This is the 28th verse. The servant said unto him, Will thou then that we go and gather them up? And he said, Nay. He said, Nay. Lest thou, lest while ye gather up the tares, this is the New King James Version, ye root up also the wheat with them. Then he said, Let them both, this is the 31st, let them both grow together until harvest time. And in the time of harvest, I will say unto the reapers, Gather ye up together first the tares, bind them in bundles to burn them, but gather the wheat unto the bun. So, so in other words, in this particular passage, the Bible said that the man, in the 24th verse, the man, he planted the seeds, but then he went to sleep. Went to sleep. Planted some good stuff. But he decided to close his eyes. But when he decided to close his eyes, that's when the enemy woke up. Well, he was always watching. And so tears. And so many of you, many of you, many of you, you've done some good stuff in your life. You've done, done good things. You've done all kinds of good stuff. But there came a point where you got so discouraged, you got so tired that you went to sleep. And when you went to sleep, the enemy came in and he began to do things uh, unaware that you didn't realize and understand. And he was using your emotions to, to, to infiltrate. He was using your emotions to plant these seeds into your spirit man. And every time you get emotional and every time you get upset and every time you get angry, um, um, your, your, your frustration, your anger, and your fears cause these seeds that he planted to grow, to grow, to grow. And once they grew, they began to bear fruit. 17 works of the flesh, bitterness, hate, revenge, all of that. But... It was the enemy. It was the enemy. It was the enemy. But and even in the story of the uh, the man when he went to sleep and the enemy sowed tears, when they when they got up, the reapers wanted to. They realized that there were tears there, and they wanted to snatch it up. Wanted to pull it, snatch it up. But the master said, "Nah, I don't do it yet. Let them grow up together. And in harvest time, I do the separation." And so that's what's happening to many of you. You've been beat by people around you. You've been beat by things around you, been beat by situations around you that attach itself to you, family members or whoever it is. Whoever it is. See, but, and, and some of them are green, uh, uh, dream thieves, people try to steal stuff from you, try to act like your friends, but all they were doing, they were trying to get information from you. They were spies on assignment from the enemy. They're trying to get information from you that they might be able to report back to their leader. See, but that's okay. They needed to go. They had to go. They gotta go. And God is bringing that separate on people that gossip, the people that always see they always were trying to watch everything you do, hear everything you do, always had something to say. God is cutting all of them off. He's cutting all of them. And some of them, he's given plagues because they done ran their mouth so much, God's given them plagues because they've been touching God's north and see, see what God's are. God's going to prove some stuff to some people. It's because some people don't, don't believe that God is real. They don't believe that God is sovereign, don't believe that God, yeah, God is righteous and God is holy. But God can come with fire. And God can't come with judgment. And see, see many people, they, they don't, you don't know your Bible. See, see God said, there's people perish for the lack of knowledge. Yeah, God brings blessings, but God also brings curses. <laughs> he brings blessings, but he brings curses. And one thing he can bring is a drought. 
He wants to hear dry stuff up. He'll begin to dry stuff up. And see, see, because the Bible says, God, don't, don't worry about, about, about your enemies, the wicked ones. They're going to be cut off. The trench of the wicked are laid up for the just. And so don't worry about your adversary. Don't worry about what they're doing. You think they, they're trying to get over and you, they, they, but they're going to get caught with, they're going to call, their hand going to get caught in the cookie jar. He's going to get caught in the cookie jar. And so I just want to just thank God for him. His love, his Passover, his, his revelation, him revealing his mind, his plan for such a time as this. Because just watch, just watch. That's going to some, that's, that's coming some stuff that's going to shock you. It's going to blow your mind that God is doing, that God is getting ready to do. You're going to see a, 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 a overhaul. You're going to see a turnaround. You're going to see a flip flop. You're going to see things that's going to happen, and you're going to see it's the power of God. See, wickedness, wickedness is going to get greater and greater, but you're going to see God's hand. God's going to come. Did you not know that the reason why there's so much disaster and, there, and so much trouble hadn't, had, hadn't been released is because God's Holy Spirit is in the earth. God's power is holding back so much. You need to know that God's power, the earnest of His Spirit is holding back so much. And if you don't have His gift, if you have His Holy Ghost, His Holy Spirit, you can have it today. All you got to do is say, ask. Ask, shall be given, seek, shall find, knock, shall open unto you. All you got to say, God, receive. I receive this Holy Ghost. I receive your power. See, because Jesus, when he went away, said he couldn't leave us comfortless. He had to bring, he had to send a friend that will lead us and guide us in all truth, called spirit of truth, called a comforter. All of those that are uh, uncomfortable, God got a comforter that will comfort you. He's called Paracletos. Called right alongside him to encourage you. Oh, yes, the Holy Ghost. It's the Holy Ghost of God. It is the Holy Ghost of God. Amen. God bless you. And heaven smile on you. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus.